What is so amazing about March Madness is obviously all the upsets. The first round is insane, and just a few tournaments ago, we saw for the first time ever a 16 seed beat a number one seed. Literally, Team Airbud beat the now defending national champions. And today, we're focusing on Loyola Chicago. Everyone's bracket got busted in 2018 when they beat six seed Miami in the first round and got their program their first tournament win in 33 years. We just fell in love with this team because it was such an awesome upset. They were motivated by 98 year old team captain Nun, Sister Jean. It was just a beautiful story. But like always, the Cinderella team has their moment of excitement, and like the Airbud team, they just lose in the next round. Oh, wait. Wait, they couldn't. Not a third time. What is going on? This was the maddest March has ever been. The 11 seed Loyola Chicago made it to the final four, the highest seed to ever reach the final four. They went through Miami, three seeded Tennessee, seven seed Nevada, and nine seeded Kansas State. They came through in the clutch every single game and won these four games by a combined eight points. They did lose to Michigan in the final four, but it was easily the most improbable run in tournament history. But wait. I feel like I'm having deja vu. Are they doing it again? Coming into this year's 2021 tournament as an 8 seed, they roll over 9 seeded Georgia Tech by 11 and trounce number 1 seeded Illinois in the second round. Illinois was likely to win this tournament coming into it and they were definitely one of the favorites. I may be making this video too early because who knows how much further they can make it, but in their Sweet 16 matchup against Oregon State, they have an 80% chance of winning according to ESPN's Basketball Power Index, but this team is seemingly looking to do the impossible for the second time in three tournaments. Well, let's take a deeper look at how this team has been so successful and why they're overwhelming favorites just to waltz into the Elite Eight. Because this year's Loyola Chicago team is even better than the Final Four team of 2018. First, let's talk about their defense. Not only is it very good, it just so happens to be the best defense in the nation number one and in march when the spotlight gets brighter and shooters tense up defense can be a huge advantage for teams i mean look at what they did to the illinois offense they held them to 58 points they hadn't been under 60 points all season and they even surpassed 90 points nine different times in the season even reaching over 120 points and the ramblers just shut it all down so do they have a 7-3 giant locking down the paint block every shut sight and shot type of center no, <laughs> no they do not. <laughs> they have 6'9 center Cameron Crutwig who probably couldn't jump over two phone bucks if you stapped them on top of each other. So how do they have the number one defense in the nation? And to answer this, we have to turn to coach Porter Moser. He has been the coach since 2011 and over the years has formed an incredible culture of winning. They don't get recruits like all the other schools in the tournament do and they haven't had an NBA player since 1988. So they really need to rely on way more heart and hustle and a whole lot of basketball IQ. And they do exactly that. They are amazing at communicating. They deny passes that many teams just usually let them make, making it even harder for the other teams to get their offense even going. Usually you can punish this ultra aggressive style of defense by setting screens, but they're so good at communicating and flexible enough to switch almost everything and still be able to deny a pass in. This throws offenses off their rhythm and the best in the nation at making their opponents use almost all of the shot clock, usually making them settle for a less than desirable look. Coach Moser is giving them the confidence that even though they play in the Missouri Valley Conference, they can play with the best teams in the nation. They'll always have the advantage coming into a game because they have nothing to lose. And since they are so aggressive and so fundamentally sound on defense and their balanced scoring attack on offense, they can be a nightmare matchup for almost every single Power 5 school. So going slightly more into their depth with their offense, they use Krutwig as a point center on their offense, very similarly how the Nuggets use Jokic. They run a 5 offense run multiple pick and rolls double screens and backside cuts and they do everything to take advantage of the spacing that Crutwood creates on the outside and above all else they're incredibly unselfish they wouldn't be where they're at even in the slightest if they didn't have the we over me mentality they all share the scorebook reflects this too they are very evenly distributed but they also have the awareness and basketball IQ to look to get in scheme open the hot hand to get shots up this team has just been so incredibly fun to watch and every time they take the court, I just expect an upset to happen now. 
So they take on Oregon State in three days. So come back to this video and comment what happened after because I'm not writing them off to make the final four again. I cannot wait to watch them take the court and I just love the story of now 101 year old team captain sister Jean. She is literally 101 years old. She was born before prohibition started. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. This loyal Chicago team is legit. Last time I felt like they were just more of a Cinderella team but now I feel that they're like actual competitors and they're competing at a very high level and their defense is the best in the nation. Their center isn't anything to be desirable looks wise but he gets the job done. He can't really jump. He gets but the spacing, the IQ, that everything is just so beautiful. I love watching this team play. I do believe they're going to win this game. It's going to be very interesting to see how they do in their Elite A matchup, but I cannot wait to watch this team. Let me know what you guys think of Loyola Chicago, but I hope you have a better understanding of just why they're able to do this two out of three tournaments. Thank you guys so much for liking. If you liked the video, make sure to leave a like and comment down below what you think. And if you want to see content like this every single day, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Peace.